Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. I know, I have no makeup on. I don't even know if I've ever started a tutorial without any makeup on. It's probably never happened, but today I wanted to do a video on my favorite products, yes. So these are like my new favorite products and I wanted to do a full face tutorial using those products instead of just sitting here telling you like, oh, I like this palette and oh, I like this, you know what I mean? Like everyone keeps telling me that's boring, okay? So we are gonna do a season 10 beat down. And when I say season 10, I mean it's gonna be like a full face dramatic season 10 reunion, sitting on the couch, hmm, you know? So most of these products are pretty new. They came out within the last couple months. Um, no, you're not gonna see cork lip liner. You're not gonna see my sweetest cocoa blush that I always like to wear. And no, you're not gonna see my perception palette. These are new, new, okay? We got that new, new. So you guys are gonna see me apply all the products, obviously, because I don't have any makeup on, and I'm gonna tell you why I like them. And yeah, let's just let the fun begin. I'm gonna start with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I've been using this base for a few months now, and it is a little bit more on the expensive side. It's like $50, but I don't know if y'all can see up in here. Okay, like it's not going down anytime soon. So I do feel like it's worth the money. Ooh, I need to put a headband on. Ooh. See, when you have light hair, uh, you gotta wear a headband because you do not want foundation getting all up in your edges. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of like a moment with the headband. Okay, let's keep it moving because this video is about to be 20 minutes if I keep talking like that. All right, so there's a couple foundations that I've been wearing. Like every other day I switch between them and it's the Maybelline Sick Foundation, which I just love. And the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I think today I'm gonna do Too Faced because I've used the Sick Foundation in so many videos. I mean, I've used the Too Faced in a lot of videos, but we're gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Chestnut. And this is new, this has been out for like a month or so. And I'm using my Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush. This is a synthetic hair brush. I just really like applying my makeup with synthetic hair, kind of like fluffy brushes, like so. And I do have combination skin. Like I'm like a true combination skin because I will get oily on my forehead and I'll get dry like under my eyes and sometimes even around my mouth. So I'm like a true combo. True combo girl up in y'all. Blend that in real nicely. And this is like a medium to full coverage foundation. All right, I'm gonna go in with Butterscotch Concealer. This is also from Too Faced. Uh, this is their Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. It's a jumbo one. This is also relatively new. Just gonna conceal all the way up in here. I'm using my LC Cosmetic Sponge, which was sold out for so long. So I stopped using it, but I believe it's back in stock. But I just like how it's super like pointy like this. Yeah, we like that. Get up in here. And you want your sponge to be kind of more on the damp side, you know what I mean? So it just makes the concealer blend in like butter. If you guys saw my how to snatch your face video, then you already know this trick, but I'm gonna go in with number 28 concealer from ColourPop. And I'm just gonna apply it right on the side of my nose here. This is really gonna give that snatched effect. So really focusing it just on the side of the nose and I'm using the sponge to kind of almost like define. See how it's like creating a line right here? But when you look straight on, it kind of gives the illusion that the face or the under eye area continues all the way up until here. And I have like, on the side of my nose, I feel like the side of my nose is like bumpy. I don't know. I don't know what that's about, but I like to lighten and snatch. I'm gonna contour my skin with the Maybelline Super Stay. This is actually foundation stick, but I'm gonna use it as a contour. This is color 360. Ooh, what was that? Did you hear that 360? My voice sometimes it just gets a little squeaky. So on both sides of the cheek and then on the nose here. Snatch the nose. So I don't really like to use a lot of brushes. You guys know this. So this is the same foundation brush. You could go in with a smaller brush, but I'm just, you know, I'm like, this is cool. This is fine, this works. I mean, maybe if I had like time, I'd probably, you know, use a smaller brush, but this one works fine. I would say if you have like super small cheeks, maybe use a smaller brush. But see, this is fine. You can kind of blend it in circular motions or go back and forth. I'm using like a medium pressure also. I'm gonna blend out my nose contour with the Marc Jacobs contour, er, no, concealer brush. 
just gonna go back and forth right up in here so whenever I blend out my nose contour instead of kind of blending it down this way I try and like blend it almost up a little bit just so you get like a really nice thin runway right there nice little contour right there a little landing strip right there nice little nose snatch right there see that so see how you can kind of see the lines on the side like this one especially looks a little dark you could just like flip the brush over and kind of just go over it to lighten it like this you know to soften it depends on where you're going because if it's like dark somewhere you know you can kind of get away with it but if you want to soften it just lightly go over it it's fine you could even just touch up with the concealer right here and i'm actually going to add a little bit of concealer under the cheeks so i'm not adding more to the sponge just whatever's left we're gonna carve out the cheeks a little bit Ooh, hello I'm gonna set my foundation with the Huda Beauty Kunafa powder. Um, this is like a yellow based powder. I love the tone of this and I love the consistency. It's not too drying. It's just, it's bomb. So I'm using my Sigma, I think this is like the F30 brush. It's gonna blot this all over. Oh, it smells so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And I wouldn't say there's like a ton of product on the brush. Like I'm not really like caking it on, you know what I mean? Some of y'all with oily skin might have to cake it on, but like I'm just gonna like blot it on a little bit. All right, this is a little trick I learned from Etienne. He's a celebrity makeup artist and he uses this Laura Mercier sponge and he just dips it in the powder. And I'm sure a lot of y'all know this trick. Okay, he dips it in the powder and then bakes under the eyes with this. Just like this. And I feel like when you use a powder puff, you kind of get a lot more product on the puff versus a sponge. Like sometimes when I try and bake under my eyes, because you guys know I like to bake for like 30 seconds, I try and bake and I feel like with the sponge, like I, I don't get like a consistent amount of powder. You know, like it'll be like a lot here and then like nothing over here. I like this little trick. A little bit on the nose here. I'm trying to decide if I should bake a little bit longer than what I typically do. Just scares me so much because my under eyes are dry, but maybe we will. This is a Makeup Forever eyebrow brush. And then I'm gonna use my Kat Von D Medium Dark Brow Powder. This has a little bit of a shimmer, so I really like using this in the brows. And I think this is like the lightest brown because you know, my hair is like a caramel blonde, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna wipe this off after I'm done with this brow because she does not need to bake for very long All right, I'm just gonna use like a fluffy brush and just wipe this off You could use any brush like it doesn't really matter just as long as it's like fluffy Ooh, Look at that. Okay, I could do a little two-minute bake. All right back to the brows. I'm using my Zueva Angled brush. This is a synthetic haired brush and it's super thin I just love filling in my brows with this now. I'm gonna go in with the P Louise eyeshadow base This is relatively new for me I like tried it I think two videos for the first time but I really like it I'm using shade rumor 5 which I think is the darkest it's the darkest one that I have um, but it's like about my skin tone maybe a little bit lighter and I'm gonna put this all over my lid and I'm gonna use it to kind of carve out my brow and you could definitely use concealer like I'm all about using concealer under the brows and as a base but I'm also into trying new things so here we are and I'm really just putting like a super thin layer okay before I get into the eyeshadow look I wanted to highlight a couple palettes that are new and I feel like are worth checking out Obviously Karen's palette super cute. I've done a few makeup tutorials using her palette as you can see like I really do use it <laughs> um, But this one's really nice. Also um, The last video I did about the KKW classic palette at first I was like, oh, it's just like another neutral palette But I really do love the shades in this one and then Kristen Dominique's lemonade palette these two crease colors are super unique what color are they? Mango and Sweet Tea. They're just like really pretty in the crease and I like them a lot. I think you guys will like this palette too. I just wanted to talk about those three because I'm not gonna use them in the video, but they are worth taking a look at. So in this video, I'm gonna use Melt Cosmetics 27. Um, I feel like I haven't really talked about this palette a lot, but it's one of those that I use often. I use on days when I guess I either don't take a makeup pick or I just don't mention the eyeshadow or I'll mention it vaguely, but I really like this palette. I'm gonna use mainly the crease shades because we're not doing a bronze look today. No, 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 we're doing a dramatic Gray look, but I think you guys will like this a lot. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Naked Sleep. 
Is that the name? Yeah. Naked Sleep, which is the lightest. It's kind of like a neutral brown. And we're going to apply this in the crease. This reminds me a little bit of Saddle from MAC. Just like, you know, a lot of the soft browns kind of look similar to this. I'm just gonna put this in the crease first. Anytime I do like a dramatic eye, um, I always like to do like neutral shades in the crease and start like really light and build to kind of like a darker matte color. All right, next we're gonna apply Whiskey Neat, which is more of like a neutral brown. I'm gonna put this in the crease here. And I'm starting with just a little bit of product because Melt has pig mint. Okay, so today's eye is gonna be like smoky gray. And whenever I do a smoky gray, I don't really like my crease to be too warm. I don't know why I like it to look more like neutral brown versus like orange brown, which is why I picked these two colors from the, from the palette. Back, back, forth and forth. Oh yes. Buildable. Okay, you guys have to get into these Stila liquid shadows. They are so bomb. You can wear them by themselves or as an eyeshadow base. This is Vivid Labradorite. Did I say that right? I don't know. But it's like a gunmetal color. It is so pretty. I'm just gonna put this all over the lid, kind of like as a base to just like enhance the color. All over the lid. I love these. Mm. So using my flat brush, this is actually from ColourPop. I'm just gonna blend in the base. These come in like really pretty gold. They're just freaking bomb. Like nobody does anything like this, you know? Well, they may try, but like Stila really got this right with these cream shadows. Like I love them so much. All right, so I'm kind of going ham with these eyeshadow colors because I still have a couple more to go, <laughs> but it is a favorites and I'm trying to show y'all all my favorites. So this is a new product um, or a new eyeshadow from Stila. Look at this, um, they're pretty. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of it. One side is more of like an eyeshadow, the other side is kind of like glitter. So we're gonna use the shadow side first and this is Labradorite. I'm sure I'm not saying it right, but whatever. So I'm just gonna press this on the lid. I might even use my fingers for the glitter part because when I swatched it with my fingers, it was like, it was so good. There's like a little bit of fallout, just a little bit. So for those of you who maybe have issues with fallout, just do your eyes before your foundation and you'll be fine. If I do like a super dramatic eye, I'll do my eyes first, but typically like I always do foundation first. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the glitter. Sorry, middle finger. And I'm just gonna press this on. See that? Ooh, it's cute. I feel like I could have even used this by itself over the base, you know what I mean? I love sparkle so much. So I'm bringing it up and just kind of pressing it lightly in my crease. All right, the final step, well, no, it's not the final step. The last gray color, let's just say that. The last gray color I'm putting on my lid is Diamond Ball Out from Fenty Beauty. So this is like a highlighter, but I would never use this on my cheeks. It's just like way too silver. I mean, I guess if you're doing like an editorial look, yes, but I feel like it's perfect just as an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use my fingers and look at that pigment. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just gonna, Press this in the center of my lid. You see that? It's really pretty. It's so pigmented. That's why I was like, I'm not putting that on my face, but I will wear it as eyeshadow. And oh, and this is their charity highlighter. So I believe 100% of the proceeds go to charity. Boom. All right, let's line the eyes. So if you guys use a cream liner and it dries out, Inglot has like the best Duraline. It's just like a liquid solution you can put in your liner and it just, gives it moisture. So this is Shady Liner from Dosa Colors, and I'm using that same Zueva brush, and we're just gonna, gonna line these eyes. Always start your liner kind of on the middle of the eye, and then work your way to the outside, and then to the inside. I'm just gonna wing it a little bit. I'm also gonna line my waterline, so the inside of my eye with the same shady liner and under my lash line. Make sure to kind of fill it in so that you don't see like a space between the liner and your waterline. Like there's like usually a space of skin, just kind of like rub in that liner, really get it all the way up in there. All right, using my Sigma pencil brush, I'm just gonna smudge whiskey under the lash line just so it looks like super blended and it kind of blends in and ties in the crease. So we're just gonna blend back and forth 
So you're almost like smudging the shadow into the cream liner. And you could definitely do black. Brown just gives like a little more of a neutral look. I want like a little bit more of a pop with the diamond ball. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this using my angled brush just right on the inside underneath my lash line. So underneath, but on the inside of the eye right here. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit right here too. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is the one favorite that I've been using, I feel like for over a year. This is the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline, but I love it so much. Like I really do, it's my favorite. And it's just like a really dark black. I'm just gonna put this on my top lashes for now because, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to set my foundation. Oh, I almost forgot to set it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna set my foundation, but before I do that, this is Del Mar from Persona Cosmetics. This is a new highlighter. It's kind of like a bronze copper shade. It's really, really pretty, especially if you have like a deeper complexion. So I'm just gonna use my little fluffy brush a little bit up in here. I like it because it's like not too gold, it's copper. It's just really pretty. Mm -hmm. This is like one of those highlighters that I'll just like really just kind of put all over my face. I'm like I'll just put on my forehead everywhere. So pretty. Right there. This highlighter kind of gets me excited in like a little kid way, not what you guys were thinking. The setting sprays of all setting sprays. If you have combination matte skin, I mean, no matter what your skin type is, this setting spray is so bomb because it sets the makeup. I feel like it makes a highlighter pop and it doesn't make you look super dewy. You know, here we go. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, I love it. Yes, yes, yes. So the reason I like to do this before I put my bottom mascara on is because you don't want to put this on and then your mascara gets everywhere. It's a mess. No. Let's try a little bit. All right, now that we've set the foundation, I'm gonna add mascara to my bottom lashes. And then we gonna put some falsies on. I like, oh my God, I love this silver eyeshadow so much. The diamond ball out. All right, if y'all have been rocking with me, like I think you have, you already know what lashes I'm gonna put on. These are the Miami lashes from Lily Lashes. These are like my all time favorite. I'm using a glue, putting the glue on right now, called Callus. You get it on Amazon, C-A-L-L-A-S. It's not like super expensive at all and it's a black glue. Goes on black and dries black. I love that I can wear these lashes with like a super natural look or a dramatic look. It's just like that lash, you know, it just goes with everything. I'm gonna bronze my skin with the JLo Times Inglot Sunkiss Bronzer and I'm using my Angled Smashbox brush. I just like this bronzer because it's like super golden and warm. This is like the one thing from her collection, from JLo's collection that I wear like all the time. Ooh, I look sunkissed. Hmm. All right, so new blush alert. This is called Glaze from Flesh Beauty. I love their blushes. Well, I shouldn't say all their blushes. I really just like this color and fever. <laughs> Um, they're just like really pretty. They go on well and they are pigmented. This one's kind of like a corally brown shade glaze, but it's really cute. Oh, we are almost done kids. We are almost done. All right, so we are gonna finish the look with a nude lip and this is just like my favorite combo, my favorite nude lip right now. It involves a lipstick, two lip liners and a gloss. <laughs> So I'm gonna line with the KKW Nude 2 lip liner first. And what I'm gonna do is kind of fill in my lips with the liner. So I don't know if you guys saw what I just did there. I kind of like filled it in, blotted it, and then filled in the top. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Nova lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. Put that on the bottom, blot the lips together. When you blot them, you kind of blend them. And so you can go back over it with uh, the KKW Nude 2, or you could go a little darker. And this is Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever. And I'm just gonna line the outside with this. This liner is like a hair, not a hair, it's like a shade darker. So lining the outer edge just gives that definition without being like too dark. See how I define my, my lips? That's a trick, you guys. Ooh. And I'm gonna set, set. <laughs> And I'm gonna gloss my lips with Karen's Brio Sparkly Gloss. I'm into sparkly glosses right now, you guys. Like, oh, I just love them. And I really like to make sure that I cover the lip line with gloss. Oh, she is ready. 
She is beat. I feel like I did that so fast. What time is it? Yeah, that was a really quick beat, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching my full face tutorial using my new favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't boring. I think it's like funner to actually use the products and show you guys versus talk about it. So I'm glad you guys stuck in there and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on these types of videos, like favorites videos. Don't forget to comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, strut and slay. You know what? Look at that, isn't that cute? Hmm. Butter. Is this the brush I use? Butter. Butter. There is a little bit of fallout, but we'll just wipe that off. It's fine. <laughs> yes, honey. Yes. You saw me? I was like, hashtag protect your edges. <clears throat> See, I'm just like going, just like can't stop. I don't know, is that cute, was that cute? <laughs> is it the hair? Like what's happening right now? <laughs> like why do I keep trying to attempt accents? Like why? She is red tea. Was that cute or nah? All right, so there's a few foundation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah.